How can I manage policies on my Moodle site? The information in this video is for guidance only. Please consult your legal and IT teams before taking any official action. As a Moodle administrator, you can set one or more site policies for new users to agree to before they access your site. From Site Administration, Users, we see a section Privacy and Policies. Let's click first on Policy Settings. If we leave the Site Policy Handler as default, Core, we can add links to policies online for registered users and or guests. These might be online PDF, for example. When they access our site, they will see the policy and have to agree to it before they can continue. However, this does not meet legal requirements in many countries, so we suggest instead you select Policies, Tool Policy and save the changes. This then actually adds two more links in the Privacy and Policies section, Manage Policies and User Agreements. Clicking Manage Policies allows us to create a new policy and manage existing ones. Let's create a new policy by clicking the New Policy button. After giving it a name, we select the type of policy we need. We can create several policies for different purposes and they can be aimed at authenticated users or guests. We can add a summary and the full policy and decide in which order to display this policy if there are several to be agreed to. We can make agreement optional but if it's compulsory, then users must accept it in order to continue on the site. Saving it as draft gives us time to proofread and make other checks, have a legal representative to check it over and so on. When the policy is saved, we see it in the list as active and from the Actions menu, we can view, edit or make it inactive. We can't delete an active policy, which again is why it's a good idea to double check it first before making it active. If we edit a policy and the changes are minor, we can check a box next to policy status so that users don't have to agree to it again. From agreements, we see the percentage of users who have accepted the policy. Let's go to a site where there are several established policies to see how this works. If we click the percentage, we're taken to the User Agreements page where we see more details about each user. Pending means they haven't yet agreed. Admins can accept a policy on behalf of others, minors for example, but we can't decline a compulsory policy. Logging into this site as a new user, we're obliged to agree to all these compulsory policies before we can proceed. But what about if the new user is a minor, that is, a child under the age of digital consent? What is the process of policies with them? For this, we need to go to Privacy Settings and set the digital age of consent verification to Yes. What happens then is when a new user signs up to the site, they must first give their age and country, and if they are under the digital age of consent for that country, they cannot sign up without an adult's approval. This Privacy Settings page gives other options regarding data protection and twice mentions a Privacy Officer. Although as admin you can handle policies and privacy issues yourself, it's a good idea for your organisation to assign a designated Privacy Officer. Watch our video on the Privacy Officer role to find out more. To summarise, Moodle's privacy and policy settings help you comply with GDPR and data protection laws. You should engage with legal experts to be sure of what is required for your organisation.